Hello everyone. Today I'm going to introduce you to the Kindle Cloud Reader uh, plugin for Firefox, uh, Chrome, and Safari. Currently I'm going to use the Chrome browser to install it in and to demo how it works. So this video is for the Kindle Cloud Reader plugin for Chrome. Now, the reason I, I find this to be valuable is that the Kindle Cloud Reader will allow you to read Kindle books without actually having to purchase a Kindle. It will also allow you to download uh, these books to your laptop or PC and read them offline, which means you don't have to have an inter internet connection to read the books, which is excellent. Um, I will show you how to install it, how it works, and I will also show you how to get and download free uh, Kindle books to read from the uh, Kindle store. It's uh, excellent. It's amazing how many free books there are. So that you know, if you're an avid book reader like me, uh, you're you'll be excited about this. Okay, first of all, first thing we need to do is uh, open up uh, your Google Chrome browser and then go to a search for Kindle Cloud Reader, as I have right here. Then uh, you'll see Amazon uh, readamazon.com link here. We'll go to that. Now, if you don't have an Amazon account, you need to create one. Otherwise, you'll have no access to any Kindle books at all. So if you don't have one, create one. If you do have one, log into it now by clicking on this. And I'm going to do that and pause this while I do that. And I'll catch you on the other side. Okay, so I've logged in. And now you get this screen with a... Uh, well, with my library behind it, you're work when you do this for the first time, there won't be any library for you. You'll have to go and download all these books for free. As you can see, there are many. Um, I set up a Kindle. Uh, well, in the center, it shows you how to set up the Kindle Cloud Reader for offline reading, which is something you want to do because you want to be able to download the books and read them without having to be connected to the Internet, especially if you have a laptop. You can also use the Kindle apps for iPhone, iPad, and iPod as well as your Android device. So let's click on Enable Offline. As you do that, you'll see that uh, the Chrome browser says, do you want to, you know, basically discard or continue uh, the offline ability? I'm going to say continue because I want that. Then uh, as soon as you do that, it'll say install uh, Cloud Reader. So that's what we want to do. So we're going to do that. And the Cloud Reader is installed. There it is right there. I'm going to click on it. and it informs that it works offline you know uh, allows you to download and pin the book and that saves the book for reading offline we also store most recently read books in the downloaded section of your library so let's get started now and you see all the books I have here now here's the best part yours your library will be empty but you can fill it pretty quickly with free books from Kindle and this is how you, you can do that um, let's go here create a new tab and let's go to the Kindle store right there over 1 million books we'll go to the Kindle store and in here we're going to type in free Kindle books and you'll get dozens and dozens and hundreds I would say if not thousands of free books uh, you'll see at the bottom of the page that you have you know one two three but if, every time you go you have another you know uh, one, two, three of them again. You know, it just continues on and on and on. I, I don't know how far it goes, but it goes far because I've already tested to see how far it goes. Okay, well, let's let download something like uh, Alice Adventures in Wonderland. Okay, so we'll go here, click on buy, and you'll notice that it says zero, 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 so that means it's free. Even though, you know, Amazon pretends that you're going to buy it, you're not going to be charged a cent for it. Now, you'll see that the hardcover price is six dollars and eighty cents what a deal in the Kindle edition you get it for free and that's you know that's why I'm part of the biggest part of the why I'm showing you the Kindle cloud reader okay go up here to buy now with one click and you'll see that deliver too well you can have it sent to your in my case my iPhone or my iPod but I'm going to have it sent to the cloud reader which both the iPhone and the iPod and I believe also the Android device which I don't have 
would have access to. Once you put it in the cloud, it's available to all your devices. So, click on Buy Now. And there we go, we have it. Now, read now in your cloud reader. I'm going to click here. And presto, it's in our cloud reader. Now, it comes up with this pop-up that shows you how to use all these things. I'll show you that in a second. We're going to highlight this. Once you left-click it, it gives you the highlight. And then you hit click on highlight, and it's highlighted. Go to the next page. And then we'll go highlight this as well. And you'll notice here that Notes and Marks, that first little button I pressed, shows you all your highlights. Now, you could have 15, 30 hi highlights. Who knows you know, what book you have and what you're doing with it. You can go to it by clicking on this. It takes you to the highlight. Or you can delete them here and here. Okay, so that's the highlighting feature. Next, I'm going to show you that there's a bookmark possible here. You can put a bookmark on your page. Um, then we have the view settings and it shows you you know that you can change the font size you can change the margin size and you can change the, the background uh, I don't need to change any of those settings so I'll leave them then we also have the go to menu and then here you have you can go see the cover of the book or you can go see the you know beginning which was where we were or you can go see a location in the book you can enter a page uh, or you can go to book extras which shows you a lot of neat stuff about the book plot summary characters you know all sorts of stuff really neat uh, features so let's go back okay great so that's how you navigate the you know the reader um, let's go back to the library so I can show you a few things okay we go back to the library you have these buttons you have the refresh button uh, you have the or sync or you have the manage where it allows you shows you the terms of use the help the legal notices contact us and sign out and then you have the search feature to help you look for books okay so next thing you need to know is a you know you have the download button and you can see that you know, Alice's adventures in, in Wonderland are downloaded so you can read this offline at this point go back to this let's go back to the cloud and either way, if it's downloaded or not, if you want to remove a book, you can just go here and hit remove book. Okay, so now there's no books download. But you'll notice that it's still in the cloud because you purchased it. Okay, so there's no f option here to, you know, you can open it and download and pin the book, but there's no option to delete it. So now I'm going to show you how to delete it and amongst other things. Uh, so open up a new tab. Again, go to the Kindle store. There's one million books and more. And then under Manage Your Kindle, under the cart, you'll see Manage Your Kindle. We'll click on that. And you'll see all the books that, you know, basically you've purchased. Now, on the, on the right-hand side, under Actions, you'll see Read Now, Deliver to My, so you can send it to your iPad or your iPod or wherever. Clear the first page read or delete from library. And that's what we want to do to take it out of the library. So I'll click delete from library and it says, yeah, you want to do that? Yes, I do. Okay. Now I successfully deleted. You go back to Cloud Reader, you see it's still there. You just do a sync and it's gone. Okay. Um, I don't know about you, but I love reading books and uh, free books are even better. And uh, this app is, is, as far as I'm concerned, is simply amazing and, and uh, you know, a beautiful value. I, I call it the library of the future. Um, first of all, uh, Kindle books are much cheaper than hardcover. And now that you don't need a, an actual Kindle to actually read them, that's a major plus for me. I can read them in uh, my laptop if I wish, uh, offline. Just a beautiful feature. So this, this uh, hopefully uh, Amazon will never get rid of this. It, it uh, adds value to my life. I hope it adds value to your life. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the books. Have a great time doing that. And if you have any questions, just put them into my YouTube uh, comments section. Thank you. Have a great day.